Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And good evening, everyone. Best part of the evening, easily the sunset. We had some rainbows out there, and look at these colorful skies from Evan O'Bannon in Tulsa. Just a gorgeous sky as the sun was setting and illuminating those mid-level clouds from underneath. And then Don Davis said in this picture, love how the tree is highlighted by those pink and purple clouds. Vicki C. Baker, the sunset from Riverside Drive tonight. So absolutely gorgeous. 53 right now in Venita, 55 at Grove. Tahlequah is down to 46 degrees. We're at 50 at Okmulgee, 55 in Bristow, and 55 here in Tulsa. With a relative humidity at 77%, a south wind right now at 9 miles an hour. The dew point at 48, so that's good to see that moisture come up. That sort of keeps the fire risk again a little bit down on the lower side tomorrow. Upper level low spinning between Texarkana and McAllister. We had just a few showers kind of sneak their way up into far eastern Oklahoma here tonight, but this is the bigger system. It is pouring rain in Los Angeles tonight, so the rainy season continues with more than average rainfall is this big upper low will move into Southern California. And of course, lots of concerns around that Oroville Dam with more and more water. All right, so for us tomorrow morning, we'll wake up with a mix of clouds, a little bit of sunshine, maybe some light rain showers over LaFleur County, uh, maybe a little bit of mist as far north as Okmulgee or maybe Tahlequah. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon with cloud cover will warm to 66 degrees. So a decent day, just a little on the gray side. And again, winds out of the south at about 10 miles an hour. Then overnight into Sunday morning as moisture increases, Increases. A couple of sprinkles are possible as you wake up Sunday morning and head out to church. Sunday afternoon, back to slate gray skies, and then Sunday night, those are thunderstorms that will move in here, and the temperature will be around 68 degrees. But fortunately, it doesn't look like there'll be severe thunderstorms. The light green area corresponds here with just your general average run-of-the-mill thunderstorms. But down to the south, in parts of southwestern Oklahoma and across central Texas, there could be a severe thunderstorm warning for some gusty winds or some large hail. Meantime, after that front or system goes by Sunday, Monday, we really don't cool down a whole lot. 68 Monday, 74 Tuesday, 71 Wednesday. These are April-like high temperatures through the middle part of next week. The average high this time of the year, 55 to 56. So the forecast for tonight, 48, mostly cloudy, just a few sprinkles across the area. A little cooler at Bartlesville, 43. The winds will be calm prior, drops to 47. We'll see an overnight low in Tahlequah, 45, with southeast winds at 5 miles an hour. Okima's dropping to 50. Bristow down to 49, with that mix of sun and clouds in Shakota, right around 49 degrees. In our southern counties, maybe a little bit of mist by tomorrow morning, with overnight lows in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. So a gray start tomorrow, but some sunshine does pop back out as the day goes on. We'll keep spits possible through 9 a.m. Try to say that three times without spitting, actually. Maybe to the south around noon, 59. And then there you go, rays of sunshine by 4 to 5 in the afternoon. The high temperature should be in the middle 60s. Sky took tomorrow, 67, 63 at Claremore and Priors up to 64. Still well hit 66, 70 at Salisaw, 65 at Sepulpa, 66 here in Tulsa, and upper 60s at Stigler, mid 60s at McAllister with southeast winds around 10 miles an hour. Look ahead to Sunday. I think we can hit the 70s on Sunday with a 50% chance of rain by Sunday evening into Sunday night. It's out of here fairly early Monday. We're back to sunshine. It's just a little cooler at 68, but there you go back to the 70s Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and finally by next Friday, it's going to feel like it should mid 50s with a north wind. Some of us will be shivering uh, <laughs> at 56 will. degrees. I know, right? Morning lows back down to 40. I still think beginning of March, we'll see another good, pretty good surge of cold air coming in and our, uh, our spring weather forecast coming out Monday night at 10 o'clock. We'll look ahead to when I think the last spring freeze could occur here in green country and then when it'll be safe to put those tomatoes in the ground. April like temperatures now, June like temperatures in April. Oh, you never know. We'll find out Monday night, right? <laughs> right. Who knows? We'll look forward to it.